Hey everyone, welcome back to Pissed Imported and Scooterville's new secret laboratory. Uh, I guess this the point of this video is to announce that we're going to start making videos again. So how cool is that? Um, or it's not cool at all. I mean, that's really up to you. Uh, regardless, um, there's going to be a slight format change in what we are going to start to offer. We still have piss imported scooter parts and apparel. We still sell uh, vintage and modern scooter parts on our website. Um, I, I work at Scooterville. I am the service manager at Scooterville. So um, if you're wondering what my relationship is to Scooterville, that's my relationship. I've been there for quite a while. Um, about four years, which is probably the last time we actually made a video um, because I had to move myself and my wife and our cats up to the Twin Cities to take a job working for Bob at Scooterville um, to uh, run the service department there. Um, prior to that, I was working at a Harley Davidson dealer as the service manager. So um, I've always had a key interest in scooters, primarily Lambrettas, which is why a lot of my videos are about Lambrettas. Um, I also work on vintage Vespas. I work on modern scooters. Um, I work on motorcycles. So the format changes basically because I'm a motorhead, I guess. And my interests are in the craft of building engines. Um, engines, transmissions, whatever it is. And I don't single that out for whether it's it to be a American motorcycle like a Harley Davidson or an Italian scooter like a Lambretta. Um, I appreciate them all for their own reasons. Um, so hopefully other people that watch these videos feel the same way. Uh, they may be very, uh, you may find yourself not wanting to watch videos about how to build a Harley Davidson transmission, which is what I'm currently working on, um, which is fine. You just don't have to watch those ones. That's fine. If you are a motorhead and you're interested in learning about how a primitive Harley Davidson operates, great, because that's what I'm doing right now. Um, we're also going to be doing other videos uh, partnering with Scooterville uh, for modern scooters. I'm hoping to do some winterization uh, videos about how to winterize carbureted scooters. Um, also hoping to do some more videos on customization, maybe a little bit of performance tuning. Uh, sidecar business. We got a lot of stuff going on with sidecars right now. Um, so, I, and I work on a lot of that kind of stuff and I, I, uh, help in that way in designing parts and things like of that nature. Um, cause before I worked for Harley Davidson, I worked for Royal Enfield and I learned a lot about sidecars working for Royal Enfield. So I, you know, as a person, as a builder, have a long history of making, of building scooters, of building motorcycles. Um, I used to do a lot of stuff with British motorcycles. I'm currently not really doing a lot with British motorcycles unless it's a friend of mine. Um, I'm personally, I have this 1976 Harley shovel head. I always wanted a shovel head. Um, it's an FLH, if that means anything to any of you. Uh, I bought it a couple of years ago, or I think about a year ago, and I'm going, I'm tearing the whole engine and transmission down, and I'm learning about how to do that, and I'm going to try to document that process in videos. So, you know, don't be afraid because I'm making videos about Harleys or modern scooters or anything like that. I'm you know, I'm just here to tell you that the videos that I do are for my own entertainment. I don't even really watch YouTube. <laughs> um, I may say I, I, I do these videos because apparently people do like to watch YouTube. And, you know, once a year, YouTube sends me a check for like 
$4. So for all those ads that you get, that's, that's how much I profit from this whole operation. Um, so I've pretty much been a loss leader on making videos on YouTube, which is fine. I, again, I just do it because I like, I used to like writing tech for the Lambretta club. I like, I've written tech for a few other clubs and motorcycle companies, um, or enthusiast groups, I should say. And I've used to write directions and how to's for Royal Enfields. And I'm, I'm mostly just interested in the craft of, of building engines and educating people about how to build engines because it's fun and it's challenging and it's my hobby. Um, so hopefully there are other people out there like that that are going to enjoy some of these videos that may not pertain to their actual interests in scooters or anything like that. I'm not selling out if people are saying that. I sold out a long time ago. Uh, <laughs> I... Uh, my business has always been Mods and Rockers LLC, and it's because I grew up with motorcycles and I got into scooters, uh, vintage scooters later. Um, so I, I've always had toes into both pawns, so to speak. And a lot of the people that are, are that work at Scooterville are the same as I am. There are a lot of motorcycles running around Scooterville, whether they're BMWs or uh, Harleys or British bikes. Um, everybody that works there is basically some, some type of a motorhead. So, um, so yeah, you know, they, they definitely were definitely all cut from the same cloth. Um, and so hopefully there are other people out there like that. Uh, I should say that you should subscribe to our videos. Hopefully you like them. Um, hopefully they're entertaining. I try to keep them short and sweet. Uh, definitely feeling like this one is like some type of 15 year old's video blog or uh, video diary, which is super creepy um, to think about. I've never had a diary in my life. Um, so I guess this is my first one. Um, so dear diary. Uh, <laughs> I don't really have much uh, much else to say, but uh, hopefully exciting times coming ahead now that we have the new secret laboratory set up. Um, big shout out to my crew at Scooterville. Um, and thank you for all your support and all the years and all the, the emails I get thanking me for my uh, Lambretta videos and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, I, it means a lot and that's why I do this stuff and there are always going to be people out there that don't like or agree with things that I say and that's fine. Um, especially when I'm doing things that are challenging for me or a first, you know, at the first time, like, um, most or all of this Harley Davidson business I got going on right now, this is going to be a real crash course for me. So uh it should be pretty interesting or terrible um as that goes along and uh i'll see you guys in the next video